And to finish off the 330 window, we got number 23, Indiana, who's 5 0. Trevor to Northwestern, who's 2 2. Indiana favored by 13.5 on the Big Ten Network. Curtis Rourke has got 93 127, thrown for 1,372 yards, 11 touchdowns, 2 interceptions. Justice Ellison has had 50 carries for 341 yards and 5 touchdowns. And Elijah Surratt has had 22 catches for 378 yards and 2 touchdowns. Mike Wright has gone 38 to 66, thrown for 354 yards, 0 touchdowns, 1 interception. Cam Porter's had 44 carries for 234 yards and 3 touchdowns. And AJ Hennings had 25 catches for 229 yards and a touchdown. Northwestern is 47 and 35 against Indiana all time. Last game did go to Indiana in 2019, though. Uh, last time they went on the road and beat Northwestern was in 1993. Right? Indiana's got to be one of the biggest shocks of the year, undefeated wise. And I understand there are some big shocks to me. I didn't see Pitt being 4-0 at this point in the year. I didn't see Duke being 5-0 as well. But Indiana's 5-0, dog, for the second time, I think, in their entire collegiate program history. And I understand a Kirk Signetti before the season's like, all I do is win. But it's like, this was Indiana, dude. Like, this was a team that was bottom feeder of the Big Ten. And a one-year turnaround is crazy. And I understand part of that is getting Curtis Rourke out of the portal. And he was a really good quarterback at Ohio. And anyone who watched him play should have thought that the transition to the next level wasn't going to be ridiculously hard. But, like, man, dude, Indiana has been a shock of this Big Ten season. And I think easily the most shocking undefeated team so far. They're one one away from a bowl game, which was honestly, I feel like most Indiana's fans hope at the beginning of the year. Uh, Northwestern has been bad. Arguably, they're one of the worst teams in the Big Ten. I think you can make the argument for Minnesota as well. I think Purdue and UCLA by far have that title as worst Big Ten team, but Northwestern's not great. They haven't looked great for most of the year. They haven't figured out the quarterback issue, which was a big worry coming into the season, and honestly, the answers haven't been there for Northwestern. Uh, this is a big game for Indiana. Six and a start would be massive. Um, it would be easily the most surprising undefeated start, and I understand you still have Ohio State on the schedule. Like There are some tough games ahead of your Indiana. But, honestly, the next couple are very winnable football games. Um, Northwestern isn't a great football team. Indiana is a very solid football team. Now, I think going on the road could give them a little bit of trouble early. Um, they haven't really played a tough road game yet. Their toughest, their test last week against Maryland, while they did pass, was at home. And so Northwestern is by far the most talented team they've played on the road so far this year. The only other team I think they went to was UCLA, and UCLA is a really bad football team, like a really bad football team. Indiana is a better football team than Northwestern. I think they win by a decent amount. I, the game goes one of two ways. It Either they win by a decent amount or Northwestern shocks them. There's, like, there's no in-between, in my opinion. Um, I, I see the opportunity for a Northwestern shock here, but I, I'm going to ride the hot hand. I like Indiana to go on the road and cover.